Greg Schofield here with Dr. Catherine Crofts. Hi, Catherine. G'day. So, Precure is leading the formation of these reverse type 2 diabetic group, groups around the country, which was initially set off by Dr. Glenn Davies and Dr. Lily Fraser. Tell us a bit about that. Well, what they've done is they've got community groups together. They've got a bunch of people all at the same time in the same room who are wanting to help control their type 2 diabetes through lifestyle. And these are set up with a it's sort of as a peer support group where everybody in the room then becomes a, um, it's a health community and people network together and strategize. The, it's important to have the healthcare professional there to make sure the information being given is accurate. But then after that, the community takes over and they get together in varying ways, either face-to-face, -face, the telephone, Facebook groups, so both on and offline to support, to provide motivation, encouragement when somebody's having a bad day, but other strategies that, that work for them. And so it's a peer-to-peer -peer led network. So why is this an important change in the way we practice community medicine and why is it the future of community medicine? Often what's happening with traditional medicine is we're told that there's only one way to manage something. But what we actually know from practice is there's lots of different ways of doing it and people struggle to find what suits them and if they're hearing what's worked from other patients then there's a little bit more credibility sometimes and there's some really valuable ideas being shared. When you're hearing it from somebody, especially somebody who has successfully managed their condition in a strategy that you're hoping to adopt, there's, there's a sometimes it's a bit more motivation for patients to try things to stick with it. They've got a peer support and that sometimes can be really valuable. So we're still, what I think we're seeing here is a real change in medicine where the health professionals are embracing the expertise that already exists and is being created with their support in the community. And these reversing diabetes groups have been really, really powerful. Uh, I, I really want to congratulate what Dr. Lily Fraser has done through Tiriki Medical Centre and her groups and then Dr. Glenn Davies through reversing type 2 diabetes in Taupo um, and they're not doing it alone because there are many members in their health circles and the community that have helped them do it. I think they're the first to acknowledge that but what we're really trying to do is spread that message, um, understand how that practice works and get it rolling across the rest of New Zealand and Australia so we can really make a difference.